Hi there. In this IELTS coffee break, we're still talking about the speaking test. And today we're going to tackle pronunciation. Because of its history, English is notoriously difficult to pronounce, even for native speakers. It's difficult to see from the page how you should say things out loud. I'm going to talk today about something that I think can help you a lot with that, and that's learning the phonemic alphabet. We'll go through it step by step, and then you can learn how to find the correct pronunciation for something when you look it up in the dictionary, or when you find it online. So I'm going to take the next couple of minutes to go through the whole phonemic alphabet with you. Let's start with the long vowels. First of all, this sound is E, like C and heat. This symbol says O, like blue, and food. This symbol represents the sound U, like turn and learn. When you see this symbol, say R, like arm and father. Short vowel sounds now. This symbol represents the sound e, like ten, or bed. This symbol represents the sound o, like got, or rock. This symbol represents a, like cup, or luck. If you see this symbol, it's a short a, hat, black. This symbol represents the sound e like mother, cinema. This symbol says o, oh, like put. And this symbol says i, like sit, pick. Now we'll move on to the diphthongs. These are sounds that are two sounds together. If you see this symbol, it sounds like ear, like ear, or hear. This symbol says A, like page or eight. This symbol says Ur, like pure or tourist. This symbol represents Oi, like boy or join. This symbol represents the sound O, like no or go. This symbol sounds like air, like hair. Or where? This symbol sounds like I, as in I, or five. This symbol is the sound for ow, like how or out. We'll move on to consonants now. First the unvoiced consonant and then its voiced pair, which is the same mouth sound, but your voice box should vibrate. The first unvoiced is p, like pen. Its voiced pair is the same mouth, but the voice box vibrates and says b, like bad. Silent sound t, like t, and its voiced pair is the same mouth shape, your voice box vibrates d, like did. This symbol is the unvoiced sound ch, like chin, and its voiced pair j, like june. This symbol is the unvoiced sound k, like cat, and this is its voiced pair G, like get. This symbol represents f, like fall. And this is its voiced pair, v, like voice. This symbol is th, like thin. And this is its voiced pair, v, like then. This symbol is s, like so. And this symbol is its voiced pair, z, like zoo. This symbol represents the sound sh, like she. And this says z, like
like the middle of vision. Just a few more consonants and we're finished. Here are m, like man, n, like no, ng, like sing, h, like how, l, like leg, and the tongue needs to hit the roof of your mouth, leg, and r, like red. And in English, the tongue does not touch the roof of your mouth for red. O, like wet. And ye, like yes. And we're done. Well done. Now you can confidently look things up in a dictionary and know exactly how to pronounce them. Bye-bye, see you next time. Thank you.